Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today we're going to talk about the AFCON winner, guys. Ivory Coast 2, Nigeria 1. I said at the start of the tournament that Ivory Coast will win the AFCON. And I told you guys. I told you guys. A lot of people were clapping at me. Oh, how come you didn't pick Morocco? How come you didn't pick Senegal? This is why I love AFCON. This is why I love AFCON. Because AFCON just gives you the unexpected. Teams you least expect win this tournament. And shout out to Ivory Coast. They put up a great, great game. Nigeria, man, Jose Passero. I'm sorry. This is disgrace from Nigeria. Because Nigeria in this game were so bad. I'm sorry. Any Nigerians are complaining about this, you guys are just sad. Because defensively, while they were a fantastic, they were just parking the bus. They were parking the bus. That Yeah, the first half, they had that one goal from Trusty Kong. You know, he's been one of the best players at AFCON. You got to give them that, obviously. You know, captain. As well, you know, scoring the three goals. He scored three goals for them in this tournament. But you can tell with Ivory Coast, they just wanted it. They wanted the desire. They wanted to show up, you know. And then, obviously, that goal from Kessie from the corner. Great, great, great goal there. Uh, Dingra with this says. And Dingra was fantastic. I mean, everyone, obviously, headlines will be on Holler. Uh, obviously, Holler deserves a spotlight. But I think Dingra deserves it just about as him. You know, and, and then, obviously, Holler scores a fantastic second goal there. He also almost scored a bicycle kick earlier in the game as well. Nigeria just never really got going. They never really got going. They never really created any clear-cut opportunities in the second half. And you could just tell Ivory Coast just wanted it so much more, you know? And for Ivory Coast, man, they were fantastic. I think they deserved the trophy. You have to give them full props. And for them to win this AFCON, and the dramatic way they did is unbelievable. Having to rely on Morocco and Mozambique to do them a favor to get them out of the group stage. Then the round of 16, beating Senegal, the defending AFCON champions on penalties. Then, obviously, and the quarterfinals against Mali, which was insane. You had to come from behind. Uh, then, obviously, semifinals, they had a good win against Yo Congo. This has been an insane story, guys. I think of all the AFCONs winners, this might be, like, the most, the most dramatic ones we've seen. Because I haven't seen an AFCON champion had to work this hard and to win it in this kind of fashion. So, shout out to Ivory Coast, man. They got they did the job. And that Faiz coach, he should be the permanent coach. And for Ivorians, man, you guys should feel very happy. I'm very happy for you guys. You deserve the trophy. As for Nigeria, I feel somewhat bad for them because they did play well and they it looked like they would have destiny, but it just showed that negative football can't take you so much. And I think the, it's good that Ivory Coast won because Ivory Coast played better football. Nigeria didn't play good football, and um, they were just defensive. And it's always good to see teams with a positive a attacking out outlook win. So I'm happy for Ivory Coast. So join us for our match reaction, guys. Our live stream will be starting after the trophy lift. I don't know when the trophy lift is going to happen. I'm guessing it will happen in like 15 to 20 minutes. So join me for that, guys. At around 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Maybe 5.20. I don't know exactly. But whenever the trophy is going to be lifted, join me for that, guys. And yeah, man. Once again, man. A shout out to, um, shout out to Ivory Coast, man. They got the job done. And for Didier Drogba, man. He must be going crazy. <laughs> he must be going crazy for that. So, guys, like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.